This is Quick Start in Wardrobe Design by Katie Max version 5. And let's begin now. First of all, double click the icon to go to the interface. Then to draw a rectangular room. And install two single doors and one balcony door. Next, to create the ceiling of the whole room, reset its elevation to 2600 mm. After that, click the icon to go to 3D. Here, to choose the 1D template, which can design bedroom global style, including window, floor, wall, and so on. And you can totally save your whole sales products as new templates here. When it comes to 3D, first of all, we need to go to Top View to lay out furniture. To go to File, Save Group, select the number 02, and it is a curtain. Check it out and install it near the balcony door. And the reason why we can see the curtain is that the camera is lower than it. So we need to go to View, Move, hold the left buttons of the mouse, and then move the cursor from bottom to top. Then go to the fire state group again. And this is a set of bed. Check it out and locate it in the middle of the room. Then enter the room again. Move around by using the cursor. To go to a good view to make a wall job. And before that, we need to hide the curtain them to lay out wardrobe units. And end panel for top first. Then use move function to move the panel. Then it is a wardrobe with plinths. Check it out and stick it to the panel. After that, we need to check out all kinds of normal units in order. Then to modify wardrobe accessories. First, delete one accessory. Then to delete one panel. Then to change the distance between two panels. And put a new distance. Then to put a tight rack under the slatey shape board. Then to select one child hanger, put it under the slatey shape board too. Then just lay one close hanger, put it under the top panel. And the air shape panel. Put it over the slatey shirt board. Then to make one shape panel.
them to put some jewels under this panel. After that, to add a set of top units. Then to create a ceiling filler. And to add doors for the top units. Then to add a sliding door for the wardrobe. To clear the panels, left, right, up, according to the hints. Here, to design the sliding door in this dialog box. Click OK, and there it is. Then to lay out some decorations. Firstly, we should hide the sliding door first. Then just lay one box and close. Put them on the proper place. After that, unhide the sliding door. Then to open the door to check them out. After that, we need to change the material of wardrobe, floor, and wall. To go to global style setting, change the material, then update. And you can see the cabinet's material has been changed. And also we can change the material by material editor. Select the 1D1, then to apply to Taki1. Then to change the floor's material. And the wall. Give a new name to it, then you can change it separately. And you can drag a map to the wall to change its texture. Also the floor. Then we are going to edit the lights, and if you don't need the ceiling light, just delete them. To edit the lights by the shortcut, and we can adjust its power, color, and direction in this dialog box. After finish that, just to turn on the lights. 
and you can see the room is getting brighter. Then click stop when you think light is OK. Usually, we will stop lighting on when the mid error is smaller than 0.1%, which is remarkably low. Also, we can adjust the brightness in this dialog box, including brightness, exposure, contrast, black and white. Then to go to render save image function to get a rendering picture. And after that, we can output a quotation list about all the products in the room. And this function is often used when client wants to see all products prices. Also, as you can see, we can export it as an Excel form. And this is the end of Quick Start of Wardrobe Design by KD Magazine version 5. Thanks for watching.